You didn't see this? Peep this out. Ooh. You got a little mic. What's up? What's going on? What's going on, man? You doing all right? I'm doing all right, man. How are you? I'm good. You know not. You love me. Hey, man, you've been killing it. Thanks, man. Thank you. Thank you. Thank We're you. We're proud of you. Keep it up. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. How is Couch as a student? Oh, not bad. He's a, he, was a, he, 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 he could be a handful like his little sister here. What do you know about Jiu Jitsu? Oh, <laughs> very, very little. Uh, like, well, nothing. Have you heard of the Hillbilly Hammer? No. What is that? That's Jacob Couch. He's oh, known. Is that? He never, I don't think he ever let me know about that. That's my uh, tagline. Jiu Jitsu is a real deal, right, Jacob? It's not wrestling. It's not WWE. No, I know, I know. Most of our kids, when they, they leave, they, they leave. Yeah, but uh, he actually came back, gave back to the community. That's a good thing. It's fun to see a guy come back that's been successful, particularly when he wanted to come in the wrestling room and work with the kids. You know, it's just anytime a guy wants to help out with the community, what can you say? Any kid can do something positive with their life is, is, is a good thing, so I'm always proud of him. What advice would you give to these high school kids? Dedicate yourself to something you love as soon as you can because nothing else matters. Right after I graduated high school, I didn't really know what I wanted to do. I didn't really have any like direction from any of my family or anything like that. And then I got hit up one time to come train at Georgetown MMA by this dude named Adam Gomez. I remember going up there to stay and it was like the best time I'd ever had. My old coach Sandro, he talked to me, he was like, so you're poor, right? And I'm like, well, I mean, if you're putting it out in the fucking open, yeah, yeah, I'm, real, I'm, I'm pretty, pretty poor. He said, take a year away from school. See if you like it. If you don't like it, you can go back to school. He's like, you got a lot of potential. You need to do this. After I made the decision to do it, that was pretty much it for me. There was no looking back from there. And uh, I moved away, you know, stayed in Georgetown for a few years, and now I'm in Mount Vernon. And that's, that's pretty much how it segues is a dude calling me out on my <laughs> household income. That's how, how I got into jiu-jitsu full-time from a place like this.